Greetings. This is a message for Phil Cognition, <clears throat> who, Phil, you left a comment on my video asking about what I thought about uh, the ICANN, basically the, uh, what is it, the Internet? Let's see, what is it? The uh, Internet Corporation for Assigned Names and Numbers. So basically, ICANN, the Internet Corporation for Assigned Names and Numbers, is the organization that distributes websites. So if you're going to buy a website through GoDaddy or whoever, you're getting it through the ICANN, this association. And I guess it was a U.S. company, and now it's it's been handed over to a global, probably less regulated establishment. I'm okay with that. I think we're at now we're at a kind of an interesting place in history where it's kind of up to citizens of the United States to accept that globalization is more important than the United States and like the superiority of the United States. It you firstly it's it would be impossible to stifle innovation across the globe we see what happens when people try to do that it just slows like our progression to a halt and if we're not progressing but we keep producing as much waste as we're producing we're going to be shitting in our own pot so we have to allow the the essence of humanity to thrive to create and to you know become better than you are you know in a lot of ways it's like this it's like you gotta swallow your pride, you know? We're not inherently any better or worse than anyone else. I, you know, I think the United States is a great, dem democracy is a, is a fantastic concept. Obviously, the freedoms that a lot of people have in this country are, I think are overlooked by them because we have it, we've had it since birth. And, but I mean, good God, from the basics, you know, we're pretty much guaranteed running water, although my water has, was just shut off. Um, for a little while, I guess they're fixing something. You know, roads, police, like police. I, I see like, I've been reading a lot about police violence and stuff, and I'll get back to the ICANN thing, um, and, and this and that, and but then like in the same thing, I'll, I'll see a thing where they're like, oh, my friend was robbed. Oh, the cops took forever to get there. Ah, oh, the cops, and it's like, dude, you're lucky that you have a police force that's willing to step put their put their body in front of a guy with a gun to protect you or to like stop some crazed maniac from harming you that's their you know we're so lucky that we've born that we were born into this system that has that i'm i feel extremely lucky i guess if luck is such a thing and so we've kind of established a system where we can have that and but at the same time like global corp uh i don't know if it's corporate corporatism or what but globalization i think is a natural evolution like we're bringing democracy through the internet to the globe and this i can you know tr to be honest i haven't really read into it maybe I, I should look into it more before i decide to make a video about it but i mean i feel like i don't even have to look into it to know it's good you're letting go of the reins of control that's where we're at as you american citizens right now all the pre anyone that's running for president of the United States should have fully be engaged in global community. I, I I'm still like fed up with nationalism when they're like, this is coffee by the way, delicious, 24 hour old coffee. I'll drink it and then whatever I don't drink, I just sit there and then get it the next day, and get it. Um. So. I'm gonna check on my lentils, but I'll keep talking to you while I'm in here. Oh, they're boiling. Turning the heat down. Let them simmer. Boy, they smell good. They smell like uh, Taco Bell. I use that cumin, and <laughs> Taco Bell is like my standard of quality. Like if it tastes as good as that, like that salty, just gets the sides and the backs of your tongue, you know you're doing it right. If you can trick someone into thinking, hey, this is as good as Taco Bell, then you can wean people off of the fast food. So that's how I aim my food, to be as delicious as, you know, the, the salt-ridden fast foods of yesteryear. Um, but, like, the nationalism stuff still kind of freaks me out. Like, it's weird. Like, Obama kind of was getting around it, talking about a global community. But then he got back into the nationals like American citizens. And like last night I was thinking if, if it 
like these people are weighing the life of an American citizen. They're using drone bombs. But if you have to kill like 10,000 non-Americans to save one American, it's not worth it. You have to let the one American die and save the 10,000 people. And that's the way the world should be working right now. We are arm in arm, a global community. We're breathing the same air, drinking the same water, shitting on the same planet and, you know, if you've ever worked together with someone, you know the power of community. Two people can like lift 10 times more weight than one person. It's like, because of the way, the, the balance of structure, two people can accomplish more than two times what one person can. It's like, it's like a, a power of 10 more, you know? Three people can get so much more done than, than one person can get done three times the length. <laughs> Yeah. So we should be fully focused on globalization in a peaceful way, not in a monetary takeover, not in a military takeover. I'm talking about cultural communion. Um, you know, and maybe I didn't even answer your question, Phil, about about the ICANN transfer. But I feel like like what we're seeing with the Trans-Pacific Partnership, like corporations moving their businesses overseas, that's it's natural, man. It, it's, it's like that's evolution. We're not supposed to contain and force and like wall off and huddle up and be like the kings at the top of the mountain and no one can get there. Because what you realize is at the top of the mountain, it's kind of lonely. You can't come down. You're walled in and you're just going to sit up there and wa waste away at the top of the mountain. Like there's a world to explore. We're not... We're not centralized, you know. This is like, this is this is go crunch time, man. I'm gonna I'm gonna think more on this this I can't think because this might be something really worth looking into, like a, a good story. Um, but I will point out that water condensation is at an all time high. This is I, I've been thinking a lot. First, it was solar powered water condensers. Is like we need to use our military, the American military, if we want to get on good terms around the world and stop terrorism, we need to use our military for good and build infrastructure across the planet, solar-powered water condensers. And then I just did this story on a wind-powered water condenser. It makes like 17 gallons of water a day, I think, and it just takes wind. So wind comes in, goes down uh, through these turbines, goes down the channel, and then goes underground where it's cool and it condenses into water. And it's like they said it could last like one machine could last three generations. I mean, 70 years, you know. So we start placing these water condensers all over the planet. This is like big solar powered roadways, water condensers and Wi-Fi. We can get Internet stations. Even we can do it through putting stuff in orbit or actually building terrestrial stations. Uh, I do. I feel like we're modernizing, globalizing society pretty rapidly. Oh, and 3D printing. I was just talking to Jeff last night. We have like, uh, Jeff Bassman, uh, we, we, we have, we've like developed the technology on Earth to rapidly create civilization on other planets. Like we can 3D print cities so fast compared to 10 years ago. So we can, we can plop down on Mars and build a huge city pretty fast now um, in that in that case I have hope and I, I mean so we could use that technology all over the planet I mean there's so many people that need power and water right now <laughs> that's not an answer to your question I'm aware of that hey what do you think about the I can thing give me some info about it and then I'm gonna start reading about it when I heard about it it was just like yawn But I, I gotta I gotta see why uh why they did it exactly. <sighs> A little stretchy stretch. A little stretchy stretch to start the morning. I gotta be kinda careful with my this headset, if I whip it around too much, it'll go flying off. Uh, I'm going to start writing. Actually, the story I'm writing now is about Tesla Motors and Elon Musk. Elon Musk, uh, you know, the fossil fuel industry has been up his, up his jock about 
how he's been taking a lot of subsidies but hasn't been turning a lot of profit. And he's like, yo, let's go toe-to-toe without any subsidies, dog. And the, the oil industry is like, slick, we get $5 trillion a year in subsidies. What? We're paying... We're paying for fuel that happens to be polluting. We're not paying to pollute the atmosphere. We're paying for fuel that happens to be polluting the atmosphere. So let's get it straight. Let's get back on solar. The solar roadway. 